we are back. Yes. Joined always by... Dave G. Dave G. And I have, am, of course, Travis Cut. And I was Travis Cut last week, and I'll most likely be Travis Cut the week after. Cut next. it up. Cut, cut, back, cut it back. up. Ch- 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 all right, all right. That's, that's quite enough for that. <laughs> I have not nearly stowed it up to find that amusing. <coughs> so what's up, David? Well, definitely not air turntables. That's going down. All and right. The clouds are up today. They sure are. It's raining, and I'm not too happy about it. I can understand that. Have you noticed that when we never plan anything out, the beginning of the show always sucks? Yeah, it's not the most <laughs> exciting beginning of the show that we've had. Fuck, we should just get stoned right away, man. No, because it's nice to have some kind of reference point to go from, <laughs> mentally speaking. It's better to start the show off shitty it's so like, it gets these, better. Are yeah. these guys actually retarded, or <laughs> is that some weed in their lungs? Yeah. I don't know. Well, um, what was? should we just start with... The, the reading of Christ Wire? Yeah, it's kind of a weekly segment now. I guess, so, man. I'm yeah. loving it, though. Let's keep going with it. Get, make make up material. a jingle. Make up a jingle for this segment. All right. I think it should have some kind of choir, like, appeal. We'll try to go with the whole Christian... Really? I was thinking of making it, like, really snazzy, like, uh... Like, you know, like... Christ Wire! They're all going to hell! Christ Wire! Dee dee dee! All right, there we go. Uh, today's article, I, and I think it's important that we say that we do not agree or promote the website in a positive manner. We only wish to make fun of these ridiculous people. Not their religion, but the fucking shit that they come up with. Would you agree with that fact? They come up with some pretty out there ideas. Remember, something. I think I, some of our past favorites have been... Blacks, scarier at night, question mark? Exclamation point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Also, yeah. Justin Bieber, lure for your girls? Yeah, luring your, like your, your, your white teen girls. Oh, I gotta stop, I'm turning myself on here. Yeah. And then the last one that we did last week, um, black people hiring your teen Daughter pop sensation. Oh yeah, 80, that was a good one. Eighty thousand dollars, the price of eighty thousand. Current going rate. Jesus, there's a lot of things I'd sell for eighty thousand dollars. Your soul. My dignity. My soul. soul and All dignity. of the above. So this week's episode or reading of Christ Wire, the title is "Sodomy is Never the Answer." No exclamation never? point. Well, never. I, I bet I, it's come up on Jeopardy at least yeah. once. <laughs> <laughs> hi yo! <laughs> all right, so I, I'm not going to read it all, but we'll just kind of skip to some of the, the funnier shit that they write. Um, starting off the bat, one of the growing tragedies we have in the United States is the new popularity of sodomy during intercourse. Ever since the homosexual lifestyle became so visible and popular, straight couples have been tempted to experiment with this incredibly painful fornication situation. Let's just make it clear for those of our listeners that don't know what sodomy is. Mm. It's not something that's kind of like Saddam Hussein would probably do. No. It's it's something... something uh, you Sex know, in the bum. Or, oh. There's no need to... Really? To, to I, didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. See, I didn't even know that. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah. Yeah, all those time in Cub Scouts, you were sodomized, David. Sodomy. Okay. Uh, That's disgusting. Uh, Now, to avoid pregnancy, more and more teen girls are giving in to peer pressure and trying this extreme hardcore sexual perversionary act. Where the fuck were these teen girls when I was a teen? Extreme hardcore sexual perversionary. Perversionary. Uh, Sadly, many people today are unaware that sodomy is biblically immoral and that it's extremely unclean and unhealthy. Uh, I think that's a given when... You're smelling poop. There's probably something. <laughs> You're doing something could wrong. Be sanitized in the vicinity. Well, anyway. I guess you fall on one side of the feds, the sodomy feds. The sodomy feds. David's not a big fan of sodomy. Well, not, 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 not to, to have body. done to you. Not that there's anything wrong not with that. Not anything wrong with that. But just uh, make sure you get yourself a nice pipe cleaner first, and oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> and right underneath this paragraph, there is, of course. This picture. Oh, it's Glenn. It's Glenn. For those of you who are listening, the picture is of, it looks like 
It looks like Freddie Mercury circa 1980, but like exaggerated to the point. Like he's got like a huge handlebar mustache, which actually I'm a little jealous of because it's a pretty nice mustache. Not to be confused with the Dirty Sanchez. Not to be con- not confused with the Dirty Sanchez. Jesus. Yeah. Um, in this select subculture, men who take the active role during sodomy are awarded special status among their peers. In the gay dialect, there are over a hundred words to describe the coveted top man. That's like it's like the Eskimos have like a thousand words for snow. The gay man has a thousand <laughs> words for top man. These types often garnish their persona by adopting an exaggerated masculinity. Flannel shirts, hard hats, leather costume, work boots thick black chest hair, gym bodies, and moustaches. On the flip side, the receiver, in quotation marks, adores himself like the anxious peacock to attract a mate with colorful clothing, flippant hand gestures, and a high voice. When these two types come together, it's a ritual dance too absurd to be witnessed. It's like the yin and the yang, The yin and the yang. Interconnected. The <laughs> anus. Um... Skips down, blah, blah, blah. For married couples, the interest, in so- the interest in sodomy comes out of a physical frustration or boredom. As years of marriage drag on, men and women seek thrills to feel the same rush of their first copulation experience. Yeah, well, you know, save the best for last, I guess. You know? <laughs> You don't want to uh, just just break that. You don't out, want to you know? just like, start with the ass. You got to build up to it. Cool to keep it there. It's like your reserve gas tank. You know? Oh, Jesus! Like, you can you can uh, do your business. You know, get it, get the job done. Get- and in hole number one. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, if, if hole number one goes down, you know it's it's in for service. You're gonna want your backup hole there, ready ready to go, and not you know abused. Backup raw. hole, literally. Yeah. Li- <laughs> Literally speaking here. Like, uh, no, yeah. Now this is what they they suggest, which I found kind of funny. Mm-hmm. What these couples really need is to find pleasure in parenting, to take joy in the athletic and a- academic success of the children, to be humble but hardworking members of their community. It's like I, like that's an alternative to, to bum sex. To bum sex. Why can't you have your cake and eat it too? It, <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> it's like it's like fuck. I just want to ram some ass today. I'm just gonna take pleasure in my parenting. Yeah, go out, hang out with the kids. But I just can't get rid of this raging boner that I have. It well, needs to be pleasured by an ass. The ass will be there waiting when you get home oh, from hanging out with the kids at the park. <laughs> Jesus. All right. Um, where is this? Where did I get down? Okay. Teens believe sodomy is a cool thing to do. It's like cigarettes and MTV. <laughs> well, you know that hip hop song. Fuck it in the bum. Fuck it in the bum. Fuck it in the bum. Fuck bum. It in the bum. Fuck it. Bum bum, bum. sex. Skeet skeet. That's a little little John thing. Sodomy. <laughs> sodomy. Yeah. Sodomy. Sodom you, bitch. Yeah, Sodom everybody. Yeah. Oh, fuck. <laughs> like it's the cool thing to do. Like cigarettes and MTV. When was this written? Nineteen fucking ninety two. Yeah, times have changed a lot. We're living in a much more progressive society, open to bum sex. Oh, so open to bum sex. It's uh, it's, it's out there, you know? So it says, goes on to say, something they want to try because their parents hate it. Yeah, fucking right. Anal intercourse provides our children an easy way to experiment with sex without the fear of pregnancy. But, but it really isn't fun. In fact, heart sodomy can be quite upsetting for a girl. This type of experimentation can also lead young men to try new things, to pull the same trick on their fellow boys. I don't, Uh-oh. I don't see the correlation. So you have a girlfriend, you do it in the bum, and you're yeah. like, you know what would make this even better? If you had a penis. <laughs> oh, yeah. And I only had one choice in the hole. Yeah. I, I, I no, it's nice to have variety, like options. <laughs> <laughs> not, not to that extent, but, you know, this when you go to one, one side of the... Uh, Male female fence, you have two options. This whole and three, I, if you want to get, get specific about it. This whole idea that people can be convinced or tricked or swayed into being gay is so absurd to me yeah. because I just don't think it works that way. I mean, look at rap music. How many young white boys 
have like adopted the black culture. But that doesn't make them black. Not on the outside. Yeah, fuck. Definitely not in the pants. Yeah. Hi-yo! But on the inside, it's another story. I just... It doesn't... For me, it's it's like a a false, like, statement. You're you're proceeding from a a false statement, so everything you... That's built upon this premise is false because the foundation is false. I attribute it to chemical warfare through our water system and other what? things. What? Gay? Well, the, there's something called BPA, bisphenol A, that uh, is an artificial estrogen, basically. Okay. So guys are getting pumped full of all these female hormones, and it's but, causing but, them to become more, you but, know, But we all... I, but, but we all get that, then, I assume, across the board. Right? Yeah, some more than others. If you're a hardcore tap water drinker, or, uh, you know, <laughs> a lot of, uh, you know, cans, certain canned food have more than others. This bisphenol A or whatever you want to call it. And uh, I see what you're saying. I just don't. But I yeah, mean, that's, that's, I can't attribute all of it to that. I mean, the scientific facts state that, like, the, the homosexual brain, be it male or female, is yeah. wired differently right. than the straight brain. It's like when people say, I was born gay, I believe yeah. that's the case. They were born different. Just like some people are born straight. And the whole thing, it's like, well, when did you know you were gay? Well, when did you know you were straight? I still attribute it to chemical chemical imbalances of some sort in the body, I guess. But imbalance you know? implies that there's something wrong. Just well, different. there's nothing wrong with it in the first place, but it's... I think naturally, the you know, man is supposed to go to the woman and you look at nature Do you really whatever. buy that shit, though? But look at nature. There's well, examples look at, of... Let's look um, at monkeys, for example. Like, they, they the do bump sex. There's not a lot of animals that have bump sex, but monkeys do it, and they do homosexual bump sex. So how, how can it be, like, if your statement is, is that in nature requires a man to be with a or a male to be with a female and we look at nature and that's not the case and how can that it is the case except for monkeys and humans <laughs> no there's well, examples yeah, there's, of all different types of animals but straight up bum sex no but ho- homosexual <laughs> behavior i mean yeah that's that's fine I'm i've seen i've seen two female sex. dogs humping but you don't see like two dogs you know yes two I just male dogs that. in the bum you know no, but they hump each other. Yeah, but that's different. That's a display of dominance. And these, that's the same goes for monkeys. That, that so if I were to hump you right now, it would just be a display of my dominance? A very awkward one, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hope Shaw yeah. never discovers this fucking way of showing his dominance. Yeah, but, uh, you know, that's what it is in nature for dogs and monkeys anyway. They're not sexually attracted to the... You know, monkeys, if there's a dominant one, they'll show their ass and bend over in front of them just out of respect, you know? Offering them that, they're like, here, it's there. You want it? <laughs> just let me know. I'm just throwing it out there. You know, you can take it, you can leave yeah. it. But I, it's not specifically homosexual. Like, you know, they, you don't see them flailing their arms around and stuff. Hello! <laughs> I'm a gay monkey! <laughs> yeah, so. Let's go see Rent. But yeah, I don't know. There, I, I just think it's homos, all bullshit, all man. All throughout history, you know, back to Greek times, they had all these big bass with homos going on. Around. It's just, it's so, it, to me, it's just so irrelevant. It's so fucking silly that, that this is even a debate. I mean, I just... I don't, are we debating anything right now? Or? No, the, yeah. the, these fucking people that write okay. these articles yeah. think that there is a homosexual agenda. You know what the homosexual agenda is? Not to get their ass kicked for being gay. That's like yeah. number one priority if the gay agenda exists. It's like, or right, they all get together and after they have bum sex, yeah. they all sit around and the agenda is, you know what would be nice? To not get our asses whooped well, every time the, we... Uh, the submissive gay would go for the very dominant style of gay because <laughs> they feel like it's a type of protection from their flamboyancy. Oh, God. I, I, I'm starting to think that you're the one who wrote this article, David. Yeah, well, you never know who's behind the curtains in these online chat forums. It says, D, written by DG, hmm. Ass Lover. <laughs> what, what does that even mean? <laughs> ass Lover 69. <laughs> at at Vancouver.com. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah. I just think it's ridiculous. A- everything on this website is fucking silly and stupid. And I, I see why... Uh, Robbie Mayhem thinks that this is a joke website. 